Hello guys, here is Shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make Indian Maharashtrian style dahi curry that is made from curd. It is very much delicious to eat with boiled rice and the recipe is also very easy. So let's see the recipe. To make dahi curry, I have taken 2 tablespoons of crushed garlic, some crushed green chilies according to taste, half of a tomato finely chopped, some whole garlic cloves, some fresh coriander leaves, some curry leaves, 3 green chilies and 3 red chilies. So let's keep them aside and go for the main process. Here I have taken 250 grams of fresh curd. It's not very sour and now I'm taking a mixer blender jar. Actually we have to beat the curd to break all the lumps down. So I'm adding it and with it we have to add 1 tablespoon of besan that is called gram flour and at the same time we'll add some water also. I'm adding some water washing the dish. So now we have to cover the jar and run the mixer for a while and now everything is mixed very well and the mixture is very smooth as you can see. So let's keep it aside and go for the main process of curry. I mean let's go for the pan. I am taking some oil, cooking oil into the pan. After the oil is heated well, we have to add some cumin seeds. I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, a little pinch of hing that means asafoetida, 2 to 3 red chilies and 2 to 3 green chilies that are cut lengthwise. All the spices are fried well as you can see. Now we have to add some curry leaves, 8 to 10 curry leaves I am adding and now we will add the whole garlic cloves first. Whole garlic cloves are fully optional, you may skip it easily, there is no problem. After adding the whole garlic cloves, we will wait for about 1 minute and after that we will add the crush, I mean the crushed garlic cloves. So I have waited for 1 minute and now I am going to add the crushed garlic cloves. It will be about 2 tablespoons. After adding the crush, we have to fry for about 2 minutes on medium to low heat. And with the garlic crush, we will add the crushed green chilies also. And wait for about 2 minutes on medium to low heat. And after that, we will add the tomatoes. Here I am adding the tomatoes. If your curd is very sour, there is no need to add the tomatoes. In that case, skip the tomatoes. After adding tomatoes, we have to add some salt according to taste. I am mixing a little and we have to add some turmeric powder also. So I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder. After mixing nicely, we will cover the pan for 2 to 3 minutes on low to medium heat until the tomatoes are soft nicely. Now I am covering the pan. And after 3 minutes, the tomatoes are nicely soft. You may mash them. I mash them a little. And now we have to add the mixture of curd and besan. Besan means gram flour. Here it is. And now I am adding some water, washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage. Now you may add water according to your requirements. I am adding some water. Now we have to mix nicely and check if more water is needed. My curry is looking very white. So I am going to add some more turmeric powder. And mixing it nicely. We have to cook this curry for about 10 to 12 minutes on medium heat. So I am going to add some more water so that the consistency remains same just like this. So I am adding some more water. You may change the quantity of water according to your requirements there is no problem. Now after mixing nicely I am going to cover the pan and cook for about 10 to 12 minutes on medium heat. After 12 minutes this is the consistency and it is perfect consistency for curry. You can see the consistency. 
at the end of this recipe we will garnish this curry with some fresh coriander leaves we will mix it nicely and cook for about 1 minute on medium heat so that the flavor of the coriander leaves comes nicely into the curry so now our curry is ready so let us turn the heat off and serve the curry hot you have seen guys that the recipe is very easy and it's very delicious to eat with boiled rice so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button friends if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care